everyone welcome to adidap and welcome to today's session so in today's success story session we have with us mr ganeshan who has cleared the rbi grade b so he was a working aspirant and now he has become the rbi grade b officer he has a very interesting journey he has seen many ups and downs in his journey of becoming the rbi grade b officer he has learned a lot from his experience that he will be sharing with us today so let's hear from mr ganeshan that what was his journey how he achieved the rbi grade b uh, and he cleared the rbi grade b exam what was his strategy so all of this today we will be understanding from mr ganeshan so first of all heartiest congratulations to you sir thank you thank you very much first of all thank you and uh, uh, thank you for inviting me in the edutab edutab forum thank you so uh, can you tell a little about your educational background and your background how you came uh, in the journey of this rbi grade b to the aspirants Uh, yes, ma'am. I completed B Tech in B Tech uh, Information Technology in the year 2013. So after that, for around the four years, uh, I worked in uh, private private sector for around six months. After that, I left the job. Again, I joined. I, I basically I'm not serious for those four years. I am just uh, switching over the jobs like that. Uh, after 2017, I thought that I we should do something in our life uh, which is meaningful. So that time I started uh, uh, focusing for bank exams. So that's where my journey starts, madam. So from 2017, uh, I started appearing for all the all the all the bank exams. First year it will be like uh, I will clear all the prelims. All, all I didn't clear anything, and then the next year I'll clear all the prelims and don't clear mains. Next year I'll clear mains, but uh, unfortunately not able to clear interview like that. So 2020 only I I got first job in SBI as a junior assistant. Uh, later, after one month, one and a half months itself, I left the job because I got in uh, Indian Bank as a PO. So there, from 2020 to 2021, I worked there. After that, I got in uh, got in SBI. So there, I worked from 2021 to 2022, and uh, 2022 to 2023. Uh, from 2022, I got in SIP. So I there I worked for. Uh, uh, there I am presently working now. How uh, fortunately I got uh, in RBI. So, how does it feel like from Indian Bank to SBI, from SBI to SIDBI, and now to your dream job of becoming RBI Grade B officer? So, how is the feeling? Uh, I am really, to be honest, I am really happy, madam, because that to working in a banking sector, everyone has a dream, and uh, and RBI is the dream job for uh, for for most of the aspirants because uh, the circulars that we refer and all the all, all the compliances that we, we that we mention, all those things related to RBI. So now working, uh, now now if we get it. opportunity to work in a regulator that is uh, that anyone anyone would be happy which which i am feeling right now man is true true so now uh, like uh, is it be in itself is a very very good organization so why did you or how did you think of switching to rbi so what was the motivation behind uh, uh, giving the rbi grade b exam when you already had a well well to do job i can say yes ma'am actually in 2020 when i first got in indian bank that time itself i i have a little bit uh, 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 a little bit thought of uh, preparing for rbi so for but the, this time what i did is like uh, whatever job that comes in my way i try to get into the job uh, one is that uh, due to the competition and another one is due to the age factor so uh, from there onwards my uh, i will i will uh, each year i will focus for rbi and uh, uh, some more i will miss miss rbi in the prelims itself so uh, this year only i got it madam uh, to uh, like you said that sibb is a very good bank and uh, and it is a dfi also it it, it has lot of uh, potential opportunities also if i didn't get because uh, right now i am 32 i have one year one one, one more attempt one more attempt is there so if i didn't get also i'll be happy i'll be content with the cb but but what i thought is like uh, we should uh, try our 100% so even this year i didn't get also next year i would have tried so i will give my 100% until the end and end of my attempt that is that's what i thought so nice so nice and uh, like you said that sidbin itself is a very good organization but you had some uh, like you wanted to achieve and you wanted to uh, join rbi grade b and so you uh, continued your preparation in which year uh, like you started preparing for rbi grade b 
actually uh, i started preparing from 2020 itself because okay. from the banking exams when i started preparing for banking exams that time itself i i started preparing but uh, the first year i am not that much serious enough even i don't have the uh, uh, the knowledge of of all those things but uh, from 2022 onwards i subscribed to edutap and i completely uh, followed the edutap materials and all those videos that's how i slowly uh, the the knowledge of of of, of related to rpa gets accumulated so it is not like uh, this year i got uh, exam by just uh, going through four or five months it's not like that uh, to be honest if you want to say means it is a accumulated knowledge of uh, of of three to four years some people uh, have the ability knowledge and ability to clear even uh, for the four months and five months but i am the person who who, who would be like uh, it will take some time for us like so that kind of person i am but i have one thing uh, in my mind we should give our 100% we should try to uh, get whatever opportunities that we want so you consider yourself a very average student and not very like the toppers and something like that yes 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 madam even in in the school days uh, th there used to be a slow learners class so uh, uh, people used to stay back for around for uh, after 4 o'clock 4 to 5 o'clock like like that um, uh, even my mother will ask me the question that uh, why why uh, why why you are not studying properly. I will say, uh, slow learner class is not like uh, we are not studying. Some people have the ability to study uh, within five hours. Uh, I think that uh, I need another one hour, six hours like that. At the end, exams the exam that we need to clear. That that that's what we I always think. About. True, true. And you will be an inspiration for many of the students out there that think that okay they were not in the toppers list in the in their schooling years, in their college years, but now they want to get into RBI or they want to get into NABAT or any other organization. So they can see your interview and they can understand that, yes, in the school or in the college, maybe you were not the topper, but you have that, if you have that dedication and that consistency, yes, you can become the RBI grade B officer, like sir has become, or NABAT grade A officer or SEBI grade A officer. So it is really a great inspiration and I'm thankful that you are here to share your story. Yes, yes, ma'am. Even uh, I feel that RBI is not a job that only the top uh, colleges or or, the, or from the institutions that they clear. Even the normal average student also clear, provided that we should, if you are working in uh, working aspirant, that we, we should maintain that consistency. It is not like one day uh, every day we can we can prepare for that. But uh, some days it will be uh, uh, you, you are completely filled with your job. Next day you need to prepare at least if it is a one hour like that, half an hour like that, or you are going for some uh, site visit like that. Uh, you can just watch a video. That also will be a knowledge for you. That's how I, I will think. Okay. And uh, like how many attempts have you given in RBI Grid B? Uh, this is the fourth attempt, madam. Okay. This is the fourth and, attempt. And in the first three attempts, what was the situation? Uh, in the first three attempts, uh, uh, in the three attempts, uh, I didn't clear prelims also, madam. This is the first attempt okay. I cleared uh, prelims. Uh, okay. The okay. So, uh, we can say that uh, even if the students, they are not able to clear one attempt or two attempts, they can clear the examination if they persist, if they are consistent enough. And especially you were also working, like you were working in Indian Bank, then you were working in SBI and SIDB. So being a working aspirant, uh, being a working aspirant, you have to think that, okay, it might take time because you have, you are putting lesser hours, but you will get through if you are persistent enough. So now, uh, as you said that you were not able to clear uh, the prelims in the first three uh, years. So uh, was there this mindset that uh, I'm, uh, failing uh, i'm not qualifying the prelims so would i be able to should i drop this idea of joining rbi grade b and should focus on my life now i'm like earning a stable job is there so like after, what was the motivation behind uh, continuing this journey yes ma'am actually i never thought like uh, this time we didn't even clear prelims next time how we can clear mains or interview like that See, each year I, I, I will uh, I will prepare for the exam. So uh, first year, if I didn't clear prelims, maybe maybe due to some mistake. So that I will try to rectify it and uh, prepare for the next time. Uh, it is like that. And another one thing which I should mention here is I want to prepare only for the prelims. Uh, mostly, I, I will be preparing like an integrated one. Uh, prelims mm -hmm. comes mains because uh, obviously the, at the end, you need to clear the final. That, that is very important. So some mistakes that which we do, 
that we need to uh, we need to rectify those mistakes and another one thing is uh, if if you are working aspirant uh, you will have the thought that uh, that, that 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 you need to uh, go go up in the ladder and like that so what i feel is like uh, uh, i should give rbi because from 2020 itself i'm focusing on that so why 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 should not i, I leave this opportunity so we will give we will give our hard work like that true that's so true so your family was always supportive of this idea because uh, like uh, usually it happens na your mother is seeing you prepare and uh, like your family is seeing you prepare so were they not like ki now you should enjoy your life you have done the hard work and you have achieved what you have achieved getting into said b is also a achievement i can say so were they not like now let's uh, let like just enjoy your life Yes, yes, madam. Even uh, I, I got married also. I, uh, I have my wife. So uh, even uh, uh, people used from the outer outer side, people used to say, tell like why he is always uh, uh, he is going to the job and then he is preparing for some exams. Why he is not uh, content with uh, and uh, why he is not satisfied with Sydney like that. But I, I made her to realize that RB is, is is my dream job, and she accepted it. And not only she, but also my mother, my brother, and also my sister. So it is it is not like Like I cleared the exam, they made me to clear the exam. Like the, uh, the the confidence that they which which they have on me made me to prepare for this exam. Actually, that the family's uh, support is really important. That too, uh, if you are married, then obviously uh, the spouse uh, spouse importance is also required. That is so true, and it's really nice that uh, the you have found a partner such that she understands your dream and she was able to support you through that dream. Because it happens, like if you are married, also for a female, also for a male, also it becomes very difficult because you have a professional life, you have a personal life, and then uh, juggling between these two lives, you also have to put into your preparation. So now coming to my next question, how were you able to manage all of these things? You have a personal life, you have a professional life, and then you were preparing also. so how are you able to manage all these things because it becomes very difficult for working professionals actually for me it is like uh, uh, my my family is really a support it is not like uh, uh, i should give some time to them they they understood they understood me very well and also in my job fortunately the uh, the uh, the managers and also agm dgm they they are also very cooperative and and sometimes they they are like if if you are uh, doing this job within this stipulated time and you can and, and and the rest of the time okay you can do whatever you you, you want that means in terms of studying so and 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 then the thing in which uh, job is that uh, people used to say that uh, if you are working it is very difficult for me it is like uh, if you are working you will have the time management also because within 4 hours you need to uh, prepare and you you need to uh, uh, work on it like that and another thing is uh, that to working you will you will get lot of uh, lot of lot of experience exposures to different thing that to working in a bank and preparing for rbi i feel that uh, in the interview also some of the questions that they asked me all all related to the 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 work because it it composes it it it, uh, it almost covers everything for me i feel that working uh, is, is 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 an added advantage for for me that is really nice now there is a question that must come in the uh, minds of the students also that what were some of the learnings that you can share that you had uh, understood through your four attempts the three attempts where you were not able to qualify and the one attempt where you have become like the officer so what were some of the learnings that uh, uh, or the mistakes that you must have done that you must have rectified so what were these mistakes uh, if you can share yes yes actually uh, uh, even if you are a banking aspirant you know everything related to the uh, prelims like uh, quants reasoning all those things but what first we need to do is like uh, whenever before the notification at least we should have that 3 to 4 months touch in it uh in 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 the logical reasoning and in the uh, in the quantitative aptitude and also 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 reading newspapers that's so because uh, we will completely focused on preparing for mains only but but the, some, sometimes we will miss that and even in prelims also the problem is that uh, we will get this good mark in gk and and we will miss in sectional cut off in uh, logical reasoning or quants for first year i i uh, first year uh, i am not uh, able to clear by uh, huge margin but next two years i clear the overall but i am not able to clear the logical reasoning and next year i am not able to clear quants 
so yeah, that, that is the uh, problem problem uh, nowadays what i uh, what i will say is before the notification that to at least at, uh, once the notification is, uh, starts we should completely focus uh, focus on prelims that too in all the fields not only in, uh, uh, we, we are strong in this we should give more time on it it is not like that we should give uh, uh, give our uh, uh, pre our preparation should be of covering all the uh, all the fields okay so uh, one thing i can say is that you must understand the pattern and you should prepare if you are preparing for the examination you have to clear the phase 1 then only you can move forward so what we understood is that prepare diligently for phase 1 do not get accustomed to this idea ki uh, i will do quant quant is my stronghold but what is required in rbi is completely it like in very less time you have to do a lot so that you have to get accustomed with uh, now you said that uh, like logical reasoning was what uh, that was pulling you away from clearing the phase one so uh, but coming from the like you have cleared indian bank you have cleared the examination for sbi so uh, and usually this is the perception that the banking aspirants they will be easily be able to do the quant and reasoning so how different the quant and reasoning of the banking exams are from the quant and reasoning of rbi yes madam uh, i will say one example is that uh, i i feel that uh, i am very good at uh, logical reasoning uh, so mainly the puzzles so uh, one, one in one year i i attend all the puzzles but i am not able to clear even uh, i am not able to solve even one puzzle so that mistake i did so next year what i thought is like uh, okay uh, what about the other things like critical reasoning so what i did in the next year is that to try to uh, try to uh, solve the critical reasoning first because sometimes uh, in, in the prior in the, the pressure because uh, the gk it is only only of limited time so we, we may we will think uh, within ourselves that that we missed a lot of the questions we haven't even visited the questions mm. like that so uh, that pressure will come to the other section also in the logical reasoning so that's how i i i made the mistake so what i what i will say is like uh, in the in the try try to try to do all the questions uh, one thing and another thing that uh, don't we should not think that we are a banking aspirant we can clear easily uh, the uh, prelims it is not the case because even the logical reasoning even the quants also uh, the the level of difficulty nowadays is getting more and more Uh, we will we will we will we will be afraid enough to solve afraid to solve the problems but if we solved diligently at least seven to eight problems we can easily clear the cut off we we will think that okay uh, sometimes you will get the pressure of uh, uh, because of that we are not able to solve even few questions that is a, a, a problem madam we, we we should try to solve most of the questions uh, try try to give give a wider cover wider areas true true uh so now uh, how how many hours if you can say that uh, being a working aspirant how many hours of uh, the preparation you were able to do uh, on the daily basis or on the weekends how many hours were you able to put uh, hours i think it will differ madam because one day we, we we will have more time and another day we don't have time at all sometimes we will come by 9 9:30 like that so that time i will for i will study at least for one hour like that Uh, and at the another day i will have 3 hours 4 hours like that average at least i think 3 uh, uh, hours if we if we study uh, properly we can uh, we can able to clear this but the main thing is about this the consistency if you are very consistent enough one day if you are not able to clear also next next uh, not able to uh, uh, find time also next day you can uh, uh, cover the uh, things true true so like uh, uh, when you are working when you are also preparing so life becomes very mundane so uh, did you also like uh, do you use social media or you were away from it or were you able to go to the social gatherings with your uh, office mates or with your uh, family or were you away from it that okay for this period of time i have to prepare and i cannot indulge in these uh, things actually the, that becomes a part and parcel of your life otherwise you will be a lone person right and, and another thing is that once one, we need to uh, socialize with people then only we will have that uh, uh, otherwise our, our mind is also uh, very engaged with what one particular thing what what i will do is i will i will uh, uh, socialize i will go out with my friends and also spend time with my family all those things that will rejuvenate us and next day we, we can we can uh, focus more on it true 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 so now uh, will you try for upsc because you have gone one step up na no no madam i am i am not a upsc person 
nice to know so uh, now coming to the strategy part so we have discussed about your journey towards the rbi grade b uh, now let's discuss the strategy for the rbi grade b how you came to clear the examination so starting with the phase 1 as you you have already told that okay quant and reasoning are quite different uh, but like uh, now we will go a little in depth starting from ga so ga 80 questions 25 marks so uh, how did you prepare for ga ga i followed the current app, uh, current tap in the edu tap uh, so uh, i stick to single source for uh, for from the prelims to the uh, mains i stick to single source uh, edu tap only so in current tap only i focus most of them uh, what i did is like it is an integrated like uh, uh, we should not only stick to current tap because anyway uh, for mains that uh, a uh, scheme tab and report tab is also important so what i did is like these three i combined like current tab scheme tabs and uh, uh, report tab and also rbi notification tab so that's how i prepared for that and uh, apart from that for english daily i will read at least half an hour one hour like a uh, 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 newspaper i think news reading newspaper itself uh, uh, sufficient for uh, clearing english and other two is uh, as much mock you can take uh, you you can you can uh, because the, for uh, Uh, other two it is about uh, how uh, fast you are able to so solve the problems you 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 everyone knows the answer but uh, within the stipulated time how you could solve so i feel that uh, 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 more mocks we need to uh, uh, do so that's how a uh, phase one preparation should be okay so uh, in the ga uh, how many months of the current affairs did you do or how many months of the schemes uh, did you do Uh, minimum three months it is a must, madam. But uh, what I followed is around four to five five months, I think. So four to five months, I will. Okay, and uh, like uh, this time, the finance uh, questions were a lot in the examination in phase one, also in the phase two, also. So in the phase one, when you saw those questions, were you surprised? Were you not prepared? Because most of the students they were not expecting the finance current affairs or the RBI notifications so much. but i feel that uh, in from the rbi notifications in edu tab i i, I uh, when i prepared for the for the uh, for this one in from edu tab i think a uh, uh, lot of questions i got from uh, uh, from from that material itself and another one thing is that rbi annual report uh, which is a savior for me because from the rbi annual report that to the the uh, the first half that around uh, 10 pages like that i think from that itself they have asked around 7 to 8 questions uh, mm -hmm. from the finance man. i feel that rbi annual report is that mainly the rbi annual report uh, plays a major role yes there was annual report as well as the financial stability report there were direct yes. questions from uh, both of them so yes they uh, they were a major portion also in the finance section uh, of the general awareness so uh, now how many times of the revision did you do for the general awareness and were you following the youtube sources also actually what i did is i don't have time to uh, do revision uh, what i will do is like i will prepare from the current app all those things and then i will watch lot of marathons marathon and also the revision sessions from uh, edu tab all those things because uh, the revision it is like uh, uh, we will just uh, keep on uh, uh, keep on hearing it will will make our make the revision easier and another thing is that i will uh, just uh, open in the edge and i will put read aloud so uh, uh, it will keep on continuously we are moving it and we are also able to cover it madam that's how my revision is true true so you were also giving a lot of mocks like can you say that how, uh, before the phase 1 how many mocks were you able to give uh, that depends on uh, person to person but i i for me i i took around uh, 16 to 17 mocks because i feel that i am not good at prelims uh, this time i should prepare i should clear prelims so i i gave around 16 to 17 marks okay and in the quant and reasoning you were focused on the various mocks yes 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 madam uh, uh, in sectional also i will try to uh, uh, solve i i uh, i think i purchased mock from practice mock also so there also there there uh, uh, also i practice but yes is practice mock. 
Okay. So we can say like you have to attempt a lot of mocks because in the quantum reasoning you have to choose the questions uh, how, which to attempt, which to leave so that you should get into practice so that in the examination you have the quick wit and you are able to select or uh, do the selective uh, questions. So I think this is the overall understanding. We have discussed about the GA, the quant reasoning and the English. Now moving to the phase two of the examination. So starting from the finance and management. So how did you prepare for finance and management? Uh, management is completely from uh, uh, EduTab only, madam, uh, because the EduTab is material. I think this time the management is, is a little bit easier. I feel I felt that it is a little bit easier when compared to last year. And also the most of the questions are are, are, are straightforward when compared to the ESI, ESI part. So uh, management completely EduTab. Even the uh, uh, finance also RB notifications uh, tab and also some of the reports, uh, reports I have uh, uh, studied. Madam. Okay. And uh, so the management, uh, you were preparing from the edit app videos and the summary sheets, we can say, and the finance section uh, also you prepared. Yes, yes, madam. In the finance, like basic, uh, ba basic things. Uh, uh, before I, I, I studied uh, uh, Indian economy book from mm -hmm. Sanjeev Verma, I think, or so Ramesh Singh. So that's how I prepared ba basic a little bit understanding towards it. After that, uh, I felt that most of the questions are, are, are current affairs oriented mm -hmm. so uh, in, the, in the finance part also uh, rba notifications and reports that 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 is that because most of the questions are from uh, that side only madam that is it is like a, a basic foundation that we need to put that foundation should not be more, more uh, we should not spend more time on the foundation so uh, basic foundation we need to put after that whatever things that is related to current affairs only okay. in, in in rba preparation Okay, so we can say in the finance section of the examination for the finance, you just need to lay a basic foundation and the current affairs are also very important uh, like after that, but you do not have to do PhD in each and every topic. So you should yes. not go that much in depth, but in management, it is completely static. So you have to put more time to that. Yes, uh, yes. Now, did you prepare any notes for management and finance? Uh, not matter, but uh, I have one note uh, with me, so I will I will make some separate notes. I will just study from uh, EduTab material and uh, Chat GPT also plays a major role here, because uh, whenever whenever I have a doubt or anything, I will just especially at the management part, I will have a doubt. I will just uh, the Chat GPT provides that crisp crisp of like three to four lines, so that I will just uh, copy and paste in my uh, in my one note. So uh, in the later part of my revision, I will just read uh, those things. That, 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 that's how uh, the management and the finance. Uh, okay. And this time again, uh, there were some schemes question in finance. There were also the current affairs, like in the descriptive also, there were three questions and two of them were uh, directly uh, current affairs based. Like there was ONDC wala question and the UPI uh, pre-sanctioned credit line question, as well as the retail direct scheme also. It was more of the static one, but we can consider it a current affairs also. So were you surprised seeing those questions or you were expecting that, okay, current affairs will also play a good role? in the descriptive Actually, uh, uh, i am surprised madam because last year it is like descriptive most of uh, most most of the descriptive questions are not from current affairs uh, but but this year uh, they they have uh, they started focusing for the descriptive also they have started focusing and uh, taking a lot of questions from the related to current affairs i'm not saying exactly but uh, it's yes it is related to current affairs and also uh, uh, one question which I, I need to mention is that in ESI, one question, it is like the World Bank report, uh, World Bank on refugee and migration report, I migration. think I'm not 100% sure. I just, uh, in EduTab, uh, there, there is a separate report section. I j well, just before two to three days, I just uh, read that. I'm not 100%, but yes, just uh, I, I read that. But that question comes uh, in the exam. I, I'm surprised to, uh, surprised of that. And also uh, that, that, uh, that really helped me. And, uh, and and I, I, I attend the question, I think I, I attend the question nicely also. Nice. Yes, because uh, most of the uh, interviews that I'm taking, they all were surprised from that report. That it is not a conventional report that is being asked. So everyone, most of the students were surprised. So it is nice to hear that someone was actually able to answer that correctly. Because otherwise the students were giving the vague or the 
like direct answer regarding migration or regarding uh, the organization itself. Uh, so now uh, I think we have discussed about the finance and management. Uh, it was directly from the notes and you were watching the videos, you were making your foundation. Now coming to the ESI section. So ESI is more current affairs based. So how you were preparing for ESI? ESI mostly, uh, I feel that two things. One is that schemes, uh, schemes, and another one is reports. Uh, this this composed of majority of the questions that they ask are, are from them, are from that only. So schemes tab and uh, the reports tab, uh, the, those two I, I followed, uh, I followed diligently, uh, because uh, what what I did is like this time I should not uh, move too much and uh, should not study too much. I I limited my so resource. And I again and again uh, revised it. So whatever question that comes within that uh, within that area, so I I, did, I attended those questions, madam. Even that mission life also, uh, I, that I revised two to three three two to three times. So when I, I when I got the question, I just attended all those uh, questions. Madam. So now in ESI, uh, were you making your own notes or were you highlighting the PDFs, uh, the current affairs PDFs and the statics ones also? Uh, in ESA, that most of the questions are from current affairs. So what I did is like I will just uh, highlight all those what all the important things are there because we don't have time to again uh, convert that into note and we need to uh, prepare in our own notes like that. So in ESA, especially the objective part, what I did is mostly I, I stick to the PDFs. I just highlight and read it again and again. Okay. Uh, this time there were some static questions also like there was the question on wto imf so were you able to uh, solve them uh, no no madam i think i solved one question only on that uh, I, even i'm surprised of that I just the ch chairman that question only i solved other than that uh, other questions i didn't uh, solve okay so this time we have seen that there was uh, a little more weightage of the static in the examination because there were like uh, five six questions that came from the imf wto and such and such and there was one question in the descriptive also regarding monetary policy so slowly the weightage uh, is being increased maybe in the static and so the aspirants out there they should prepare the basics at least of the esi static portion yes 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 so now uh, like coming to the uh, this, like how are you uh, practicing for the descriptive this is a very important pain point of the students that they are I'm always getting a call that how to prepare for the descriptive ESI or for the descriptive FM so uh, what was your strategy for preparing for the descriptive uh, actually in descriptive what I did is like uh, in edutab there is a separate uh, separate separate uh, descriptive section so there the mind maps uh, mind maps are very nice so what i will do is like uh, usually at, at the weekends i will just uh, note down one question one or two questions so i will just follow the mind map and then i will start writing writing on my own so uh, it will be like uh, uh, descriptive it is not like it will come within uh, two to three months it, it will take some time some people they are very good at english they they are they are, they are they can easily uh, uh, write that is not an issue but for a person like me uh, so what I, I what i did is like mostly at the weekends i will i will uh, uh, solve at least two or i will write at least two or three questions and i will just uh, uh, check in the grammarly that's how uh, it is uh, for, uh, related to descriptive yes and as you mentioned that it takes time two three two to three months it's not like that today you will write an answer and you will magically magically know that how to write the another answers also so it, it is a time taking process and the students and the experience they must understand that yes it will take some time because i i get the call that i am attempting the question for past one week and i'm not getting how to write the answer so this is not how it works so this is being told and through you also i want to share this idea that yes the descriptive answer writing takes time so the students should not worry a lot about that uh, now coming to the descriptive english so how you prepared for that were you practicing or you thought that uh, i will be able to do it uh, for descriptive english also i practice madam mostly that uh, uh, essay it is like uh, 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 anyhow i am preparing for the for the descriptive ones like esa and fm so i didn't prepare much on that Whereas for uh, pre Prezi and uh, RC, I have, I have just solved some questions and just I I'm uh, I'm just checking that I can write within the uh, time frame time time limit and also 
also also uh, whether i'm able to answer all these questions without any grammatical mistake because even in my school life i will do a lot of grammatical mistakes i'm not good in uh, english part so i i thought that i should improve a lot so i i, I think i improved on that matter okay and uh, what was your like you started from press or you starting started from sc so what was the pattern uh, that you followed so uh, what i followed this time is that uh, first i i, I uh, went from uh, uh, rc uh, reading comprehension and then press and then sa because sa i felt that last uh, if, if we covered at the last we can write as much as as we can but uh, at the same time we should not miss out the uh, the marks in the rc and uh, uh, press because from rc the uh, but this time the rc is also it is not like st straight straight questions uh, they 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 are little bit uh, conceptual so we need to uh, uh, read the rc completely and then we need to understand it and then we need to answer like that it, it is there so my my pattern is like rc press and uh, descriptive map okay so now uh, we are towards the interview stage that uh, did you take any mock interview yes yes madam i took mock interview from edutab and also from another another source ma'am. okay and uh, like how was the final interview uh, actually uh, in my in edutab uh, raja sir has given lot of advice uh, advice advice to me related to uh, this one uh, mock because in edutab mock i didn't do well at all uh, that to uh, he said that uh, the time the time is very very short you need to focus more on it you you need you you are good at your uh, uh, working skills but uh, not not at uh, other ones so slowly i i uh, i i practiced a lot uh, actually uh, the preparation for interview i kept like four or five like uh, first uh, personalized questions uh, and uh, and the questions related to rbi and questions related to my work experience and also current affairs so that's way that way i i segregated into it into four so i uh, my wife also uh, helped me in this so she will ask a lot of questions she 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 will give uh, i will give mock to her uh, so so like 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 that it happened for me okay and when you uh, walked in the actual interview so what was the feeling and how was the panel uh, the panelists they 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 are, they are very good but uh, for me they they the uh, panel went like uh, it is a stress test interview so they asked uh, uh, what you are doing for all those uh, four years you are not serious enough in your life uh, what you will do if you join an rpa like that what the panel expects is not to uh, not to uh, grill you but they they expect you how you handle the situation at that point of time uh, if, if if any difficult question that arises before you how how you are how you are answering it so one one question they have asked uh, in in uh, the interview is that uh, they they have given like a, a scenario like uh, which one you you prefer the most and uh, uh, an order it like loan policy and uh, uh, interest rate and uh, uh, regulatory complaints and another thing i'm not i'm not really doing uh, so so what i did is like first i uh, i i said that loan policy and then uh, uh, exposure and then uh, regulatory complaints and then uh, 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 and then the risk factor and then uh, determine the interest rate like that they say that you are not giving importance to the regulator the regulatory complaints should come first they say that i which which i didn't uh, I expect that time because working in a bank uh, i feel i feel that loan policy is there whichever uh, doubts we have we will just refer to loan policy so they said that uh, that too you you should have thought that you are you are coming to the regulator exam regulator interview you should have thought that you made a mistake like that they say uh, i said that the, it is my mistake sir i'm sorry for that even i thought that they they would have uh, uh, they, they would have th thought bad for bad about that but uh, uh, what they they expect is that how we are handling the situation, mm -hmm. how how we are telling the answers to them. That is uh, they, they they really expect. Okay. And were there any technical questions from FM and ESI? Uh, not from FM and ESI, but for me, the most of the questions are from my uh, work experience. So that's what I said, right, madam? Uh, the work experience uh, had an advantage for me because a lot of questions that they have asked from my from my from from my experience that to what i'm really doing in my uh, in the last three uh, different organizations that 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 is that itself will cover the uh, uh, cover i think 90 to 95 percent of the questions okay okay and did they not ask that uh, like you uh, 
shifted from Indian Bank to SBI, from SBI to SIDB, uh, from SIDB to RBI. So what, was there any direct question regarding that? I expected that they will ask uh, any question regarding that and, uh, and I also prepared for that but uh, they didn't ask surprisingly they didn't ask any question on that. They, they only asked that uh, why you wasted uh, four to five years what why you are not serious and all those things only they asked. Okay. Uh, so now uh, we are towards the end of the session and I would li like you to give a message to the aspirants out there. As you said that you are a no normal average student and not from some big college or not from some very uh, prestigious institution that you started from. You started from a very uh, normal institution, from a very normal school. So now coming to this platform and uh, sitting here as a RBI grade B officer, it's like a dream come true. And it's like for many of the aspirants, you are the uh, inspiration that they are coming from some normal college and they want to become the officer in a particular regulatory body exam in the regulatory body so what is the message for them if you can give something yes ma'am uh, actually i'm a normal student like uh, how the, how they are uh, just be because of this exam i'm i'm, I'm on the other side what i be, uh, what i will tell the aspirants is that the age factor doesn't matter because i'm 32 now so people starting from 30 they can clear and also if you are working aspirant no issues that they make make use of that and they try to uh, think at think it as an advantage for you and uh, another one that you have wasted uh, around five years six years in your life that doesn't matter because you will have the second chance you if, if you start by 27 28 like that you can you can you can uh, clear the exams if you are uh, very not very good at studies if you are it will take some time for you to prepare not an issue because what people can clear in one year we can clear in three years two to three years at last whatever we we thought we are able to achieve means yes it is it is very good so that's how we need to because people like me i think that they they, they should have that uh, they they should have that within their within within themselves that uh, some some things need time 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 for them to uh, uh, to realize so we sh we should wait for uh, for for our opportunity once our opportunity comes we need we will clear it that that is the message to the aspirants yes uh, really nice you are a very humble person and it is great for me also to take your session to learn about your story to know about your story because uh, like many of the aspirants out there that are uh, like the average students that have this mindset he, I was not the topper, but if uh, Ganeshan has cleared the exam, maybe I will be also able to clear the exam. So this is the idea that uh, this interview must have given in those minds, and that I also want to convey that yes, the if you have if you are putting the diligent efforts, if you are putting the dedication, then yes, you can clear the examination. And thank you so much, Ganeshan, for coming and for giving this wonderful interview. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you for that, madam. And also, I should thank personally, uh, personally, uh, you because uh, from a early stage of my career, uh, I have learned a lot of uh, things from your videos in the finance part, especially related to the NBFC. The, even I, I remember the scale-based regulations, PCA. What, whatever uh, the uh, the preparation that I had, had, and that too, uh, your explanation way of explanation is uh, very nice, and and it really helped me, madam. So thank you very much for you also, and also thank you. for the edit after you. Thank you so much. You not only boosted the uh, morale of the students, but also mine. So I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.